everybody, I am Key Loves God. Welcome back to my channel where I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be made in His image and on how to be the best versions of yourselves. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And for those who are already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Isaiah Robinson's video, Kanye was right about Michael, Truth Exposed. You guys, if you know anything about Michael Jackson or you are a fan of him, you know that he stayed continuously exposing the elite. You know that. And he, so, he's, he told us so much of his truth through his music and his lyrics, if you really paid attention. The most incredibly talented artist of all time, in my opinion, Michael Jackson. Um, the way everything ended with him, my heart breaks for him. You guys know that Kanye makes several references about Michael Jackson when he says they try to Michael Jackson me. When he says that, he's referring to the way Michael Jackson went out. Um, there have been so many like different people trying to debunk Michael Jackson's last phone call where you would hear him like uh, the group Anonymous, they were hackers. They exposed a lot of Michael Jackson's audios for, like on the phone. Some people were saying they were fake, some people were saying they're real, but I truly believe that those are real and they are authentic audios from him being on the phone talking to different friends and family members. And he told them like he was heavily sedated and that a group of people were after him and that they were bigger than the government and they just don't want him here anymore and he doesn't care about his life. All he cares about are his kids and that they're safe. And that's what Kanye West is referring to when he says they try to Michael Jackson me, meaning they're trying to heavily sedate him to the point to where he won't wake up again. So we're going to be reacting to this video and we're going to kind of see what this is about. I wonder if it's going to touch base on any of those things. So make sure that you guys go to Isaiah Robinson's channel, show him some love. Show you in a minute, we're going to get into a clip of Michael Jackson talking. Ooh. And then show you information that came out later on. However, Michael Jackson, Kanye was right about Michael Jackson. What did he say? Kanye was right about the medication and this and that about a lot of different things. So the truth that he's coming out with is actual facts when you start looking back. Michael Jackson was talking on this video where, you know, um, he was in charge of a lot of things. He was the owner of a lot of things. Sony. Let's just go right into it. Yeah, let's go into it. The tradition of great performers from Sammy Davis Jr. to James Brown to Jackie Wilson to Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly. The story is usually the same though, you know, these guys work really hard at their craft, but the story ends the same. Mm. They usually are broken and usually just sad and the story is very sad in the end because see Michael's coming out with truth right now about different artists in the industry and he's talking about different artists in the industry who work really hard but at the end of the day they don't get what they deserve mm -hmm. and they, they're broken yeah they're broken he's coming out with truth right now about the industry and they can't they couldn't say Michael was crazy Right. Michael's too calm, too collected. He wasn't just mm -hmm. saying, you know, he didn't just out, come out with, uh, just, just speak outburst and, you know, so they couldn't really go there with him. The companies take advantage of them. Mm. They really. Oh, uh, there it is. The companies take advantage of them. Yep. That's sad. Do. And, um, and let's not forget about the fact that Michael is a child star, was a child star. He got exposed to the game at a very, very, very young age. He didn't even get a chance to decide, you know, because his dad was the one constantly pushing them to be stars and to be famous. And so he really didn't know what he was signing up for when he got into the music industry. And a lot of the child Disney stars don't. And by the time they realize it, it's too late. You know, Michael is a genius at his craft and what he did. And, you know, no one has ever done the stuff that Michael Jackson did 
as far as like thriller like he literally did all of this stuff that was authentic to him that was stuff that we had never seen before in our lifetime and now everybody else copies from what he did sure he had different people who he was inspired by of course but he was the originator of a lot of different things um and he knows about these artists who he's speaking of and he knows that like the end that they experience he knows that the companies took advantage of them so he's he's literally speaking to his fans and to the audience and letting them know like it all ends the same for all of them and it still is continuing to this day which is extremely sad uh, Sony Sony be, being a you gotta understand when he's saying Sony he's talking about the leaders of Sony and they see this mm-hmm you know, being the artist that I am um, at Sony, I, I've, I've generated several billion dollars for Sony. That several nice. billion. Yeah. And, um, I wish he didn't say any of this. They, they really thought that my mind is always on music and dancing. And, and, I, and it usually is. But uh, l let, me, let me put this, let me translate this for Michael. They thought they could tell him to shut up and dance. Mm-hmm, like a puppet. They wouldn't have to worry about anything. But that was false. They never thought that this performer, myself, would outthink them. Yeah. Oh. So, um. Yeah, and that type of thinking gets them upset. Yeah. We can't let them get away with the, what they're trying to do because now I'm a free agent. We can't let so them get away thought. with what they're trying to do. You have, to, you have to pay attention to He you. knows when he said, we can't let them get away with what they're trying to do. He knows that these companies, these, this music industry, this entertainment industry cares nothing about the masses, nothing about the artists. They're just puppets, okay? They have an agenda that they're pushing. And Michael is literally trying to, he's speaking in coded language in a sense. He's not. He's trying not to say too much, but he already said a lot. He's literally telling them, "I'm about to walk away owning half of Sony, and I'm a free agent now." When I heard this, I knew he ain't about to walk away with that money. They're letting him think that something's gonna happen from this. To these words, guys, you have to pay attention to these words. He's not just talking about it for himself. He's saying we have to get other people out like he was yeah but it didn't last too long um i just owe sony one more album it's just a box set really it's um with two new songs which i've written ages ago <laughs> because every, every album that i record i write like Literally, I'm telling you the truth. I write, I write at least um, 120 songs every album I do. Songs. So, I can do the box set and just give them any two songs. So He perfected his craft. I mean, isn't that obvious? So I'm leaving Sony, a free agent, owning half of Sony. There it is. Leaving Sony, a free agent, owning... Owning. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Own. Let's play back. So I'm leaving Sony a free agent. Owning half of Sony. Owning half of Sony. Now you think to yourself, hmm, does Michael's family own half of Sony now that he's gone? Hmm, does Michael's kids are them half, own half of Sony now that he's gone? I doubt it. Let's find out. Actually, let's let's keep going. Let's see what Kanye had to say about a couple things. I'm Michael now. And they wanted mm. to medicate me every day. You realize like, they could have just switched to medication. And I wouldn't be here. And on the news, they would have said it was... 
They wanted to medicate him every day. Like Michael Jackson. And they could have just switched the medication. Yeah, like Michael that's Jackson. That's what he said, right? Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said, right? Now, how did Michael Jackson die? How did they say he died? On June 25th, 2009, American singer Michael Jackson died on acute pro- propofol and benzodiazepine intoxication at his home on North Carrollwood Drive in the Homeby Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. His physician, Conrad, said that he found Jackson in his room, not breathing, and with a weak pulse, he administrated CPR to no avail, and security called on one. So they're saying that Michael Jackson overdosed. Right? They're saying he overdosed. They always say On that. medicine that he's taken. He's taken plenty of times. On medicine that he's taken plenty of times, they're saying he's overdosed on it, Right? You have different medias, big medias, especially this fake media, CNN. We know this fake news. Michael Jackson gave himself fatal overdose. And then they're going to say he gave it to himself. I don't know if you guys have heard the phone call that I'm speaking of when Michael Jackson was telling Dieter or whoever, Dieter, his friend, that they can literally say whatever they want to say. They can say that I... I took myself out they could say that it was an overdose they could say so many things and he literally called it out he knew it before because he already had studied all of these different entertainers before him who gave themselves to the fans to the world they shared their gift to the world and yet these evil devilish wicked people literally took their legacy and tried to tarnish it by saying this is how they passed away. They're, they... <sighs> oh, sex where it says. So people say, see that and say, oh my gosh, it must be real. No. Right? Come to find out! Come to find out! On August 28, 2009, Los Angeles County Department of Medical Examiner Coroner conclude that, concluded that Jackson's death was a homicide. And do we not remember that Latoya Jackson came out and saying that her brother was taken out? She came out exposing all that. She was like, my brother, he told me the same thing. He told me that a group of people were after him. You know, he wasn't fearful of his life. All he was was, was worried about his kids. Michael didn't do that to himself. He was very much aware. He was afraid. Maybe not so much for himself, but he was afraid for his kids. And look what they tried to do to this man's legacy. They tried to put all this stuff out here about him because he kept exposing them, exposing them, saying stuff about him, putting it in his song lyrics and all that. And it's just like they kept trying to just push him down. And so then he got to the point where he was finally able to get out and he saw the light at the end of the tunnel. But then... He thought he was going to walk away owning half of Sony. And unfortunately, that just didn't happen. At the time of his death, Jackson had been preparing for a series of comeback concerts. This is it. Due to begin in July 2009 in London, his death triggered reactions around the world, creating unprecedented surges of internet traffic and a spike in sales of his music. A televised memorial service held at the Staples Center in Los Angeles was viewed by an estimated 2.5 billion people globally. Could you imagine the type of impact Michael Jackson would have had if he told all of his fans to stand up? This is what this company is doing. This is what these elitist people are doing. This is what the higher ups are doing to the, to us in the music industry. The type of power and the type of force that would have stood behind him, people would have literally did whatever he said. Literally. He was a problem for them. In 2010, Sony Music Entertainment signed a $250 million deal with Jackson's estate to retain distribution rights to his recordings up until 2017 and to release seven albums over the following decade. So sad. Jackson had been administered propofol and anti and anti anxiety 
<laughs> and but, uh, these doctors got some names, boy. <laughs> these medicines got some names. By his doctor, Murray was convicted of involuntary manslaughter <laughs> in November 2011 and was released in 2013. How does that happen? You literally, you literally that took one of the biggest, most influential stars of the entertainment industry out of this world. And you only served four years in prison. Actually, he served two years of his four year prison sentence. How do you think that that would even happen? How does that even equate? What do you think or who do you think he may be rubbing elbows with in order to get out of something so serious like that? Who you know get out like that? Like, come on, we have to like put the pieces together y'all. Like, come on, like, it's, it's ridiculous. After serving two years of his four year prison sentence, with time off for good behavior. behavior. Yep, it's a bunch of mess. This man murdered Michael Jackson and he spent two years in jail. Guess what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say too much. I'm not gonna say too much, but you tell me. Can a regular, how you murder Michael Jackson, then spend two years in jail without some higher help? That's what I'm saying. You took out the biggest star in the world. How do you do that? Did I not just say Why that? Why would you do that unless somebody higher up told you to do that and that they would get you out of the situation that you're in? <laughs> it's true y'all it's crazy puzzles people i just said the puzzles. same thing i literally just said that this is my first time seeing this and we're literally saying the same thing uh, this is <laughs> we can't make this stuff up plus one equals two <sighs> two plus two equals four and then Let's see who owns Michael's Masters. In September 2016, Sony acquired the Jackson Estate State and Sony ATV in a deal valued at around $750 million. So Sony acquired the Jackson State Stake, $750 million. Do you think, my question is, do you think that they would have been able to buy it from Michael Jackson? Don't think so. Absolutely not. Don't think so. They're smart. They know that the muni the money is just gonna build up. And somebody like Michael Jackson, clearly they didn't they don't think he thought like that, but he did think. And they knew that they were not going to get it from him. Yep. Wow. Thank guys. As truth keeps being revealed, we have to look in different places to add different things up. Sad story. I know. I would say pray for Kanye. Pray for Ye right now because uh, he's definitely putting himself in hot water to come out with different truth. Mm -hmm. You know? So God's using him. Amen. Amen. But yeah, guys, light's coming out more and more. It's being revealed more and more. Things is getting hot. And I'm here for it. I'm here for the truth to come out. Amen. Love you guys. God bless. <laughs> So there you guys have it. Okay, that's what Kanye is saying when he's saying they're trying to Michael Jackson me. He literally has exposed handlers. He's literally exposed Hollywood people involved in, you know, secret societies. He's told us different stars who are, you know, doing things they got no business. 
taking lives, doing these sacrifices and stuff like that, you guys. Kanye is literally like out here telling the truth. And of course, the media is going to make him look crazy. They're going to paint this narrative of him just like they painted a narrative of Michael Jackson. Messing with boys, just like they painted this narrative of Prince taking himself out just like they paint this narrative of Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina and Britney Spears and Martin Lawrence and all of these other people <laughs> like Aaron Carter and the list goes on it is so many people it's just like if you still want to be famous you have to ask yourself why why I'd rather be faithful over famous period faithful over famous you guys make sure that you guys like this video make sure that you guys subscribe so you can be notified when i do post another video again make sure that you guys go check out some of um isaiah robinson's other videos that he may have on his channel that you guys may really be into um i love you guys so much and i'll see you in another video Mwah.